when you think that someone is talking about you or when you're afraid that someone will say something and I'm saying when you think very specific things that other people think about you like they think I'm too short, they think my style sucks, whatever, things like that. When you have those specific things in your mind and when you're afraid of those things that you'll go out and people will think that about you, that's a reflection of what you think about yourself. So that's all in your mind. That's what I used to think when I had social anxiety. I had social anxiety. I did not like to walk into a room all by myself. I hated that because I could feel like everyone's eyes on me and like they were judging me. Now I do feel everyone's eyes on me, but I flipped it in other way where they're looking at me because they think I'm pretty, because they think my style is good, because I attract attention. It does not mean that it has to be bad. Some people might think bad, bad things about me when I walk into a room, but that does not pass through my mind because I don't think that about myself. So I do not imagine them thinking that. What I think they think of me when they look at me is the reflection of what I think about myself. And I know it kind of sounds cocky, but it's not. As I said in some of my previous videos, you being confident and loving yourself is not the same thing as being cocky. Being cocky is you thinking that you're better than everyone and that everyone is under you. That's being cocky. I don't like that. But being confident in yourself and that when you walk into a room, you see the reflection of what you think about yourself in other people. And that's what changed my social outings and my social anxiety. It's all about confidence. And it's all about knowing that what you think other people are saying about you is only in your mind. Things just have the value that you give them. Why does it matter what they think? If you are confident in yourself, if you walk into a room like you know who you are, not really know who you are, but you know who you are in a way of, I think I'm pretty, I know I'm pretty. I think I have a good style, I know I have a good style. In that way, you know yourself because you believe that what you think about yourself, it's the truth, and it is. So that's what you think when you walk into a room. If people are looking at you, you have to feel like they are looking at you because they feel the same way about you as you do about yourself. That's a great experience. Try that and try to walk confidently like owning the room i know it can be hard and at first it was hard for me too but just keep trying it and one day it will be natural but what i really mean to say is the people around you are a reflection of yourself even the bad people they are meant to test you in some way because you can see that sometimes if you're arguing with someone that is, let's say, bad, you start behaving like them. When you're arguing, you will start arguing the same way and maybe having the same reactions as them. That's a reflection of you. That's a side of yourself that might not show always, but when that person is around you, that side of yourself will show. So I do think that everyone is kind of a reflection of you. So right now, if you are listening to me, is to bring some side of you that might be hidden, that does not show up often, and that's a reflection of you. So I'm in some way a reflection of you.
And that's really interesting for me. That's something I've been realizing more and more and more and more. That's so fascinating. And that's why sometimes most people have different personalities when they hang out with different people. That happens with me in a way where I'm always myself, but with different people, I always show different sides of myself. I'm not saying that I'm being fake or that you are being fake. I'm just saying that with some people, there's one side that shows more than with other people and vice versa. And that's okay. And I think realizing that, realizing that everyone is a reflection of you, what you think that they think of you is a reflection of what you think about yourself. It is a big step in understanding that you don't need their validation for anything. You just need to love yourself and change the perspective you have about yourself because you should love yourself and knowing that everyone is a reflection of you as well as their thoughts and what you think they think about you will help you be more comfortable in dealing with people in hanging out in feeling more comfortable in yourself that's something i have learned and that truly truly helped me socialize And hanging out with people without being afraid of what they might think. It helped me be myself, be the person that I am now, because that might change. But it helped me be confident in myself, in my style, in the way I look. And that's how you should be too. Trust me, reflect onto others what you want for yourself.